Welcome to another Brightway Supply video. I'm Marty and today we're going to be talking about color temperature and which color temperature bulb is right for you. It wasn't that long ago you could go into a hardware store and you could pick up a bulb like this and you either chose a 20 watt, 40, 60, or maybe 100 watt. And that was the extent of your decision making. Uh, today there's a lot more choices. And the reason there's a lot more choices is because LEDs can may be made in any different uh, color that you'd like. Uh, a tungsten filament in a typical incandescent bulb uh, incandesced or glowed at about 2400 Kelvin. That's how we get uh, color temperature. Uh, because that's the temperature of the tungsten filament. With LEDs, it's much different. Uh, they can be manufactured to uh, incandesce or glow at any different uh, wavelength of color. So I mentioned that uh, incandescent bulbs typically are at about 2400 Kelvin. This is considered a warm temperature. You're going to see ter terms like warm, you're going to see cool white, white, daylight, and these all refer to the different Kelvin temperatures. So uh, down in the lower spectrum, 2400 to 3000 Kelvin, warm white, uh, 4000 to 5000, that's going to be kind of a neutral white, and then you're going to see 6000 Kelvin, 6500, those are going to be more in the daylight spectrum. And uh, these are some of the things to consider when you're picking lights for your application. In addition to that, you're going to be looking at the CRI, or Color Rendering Index. And no, it's not an investment opportunity. It's purely uh, uh, an idea of how well that the bulb that you select is going to reflect and produce the entire spectrum of light. You'll see CRIs down as low as 50 and some up to 95. The full index is 0 to 100. And in some cases, this index is very important. In others, it's not important at all. Here is a good example of the effect of CRI. I have two light sources, both at 2700 Kelvin and similar lumen output. On the right, I have our ETI 6-inch recessed LED retrofit. This light has a CRI between 90 and 95. On the left is a compact fluorescent PAR 30 bulb, similar to what you might already have in your recessed fixtures at home. The CR rating of the CFL bulb is 82. Notice how the red and brown paint samples reflect more light with the ETI bulb. This is a result of the CFL not reproducing even output across the full color spectrum. So let's look at some of the applications where you're going to be buying lights and want to get the right light. Let's start out in the home. In the kitchen, you want your general lighting to be nice and bright and flood the area so it's easy to work. Uh, if you've got recessed fixtures, we recommend the 4000 Kelvin Shenzhen down light, 1200 lumens so it gives you plenty of light and uh, it also is not too cool so it doesn't make it look like a clinic or office environment and uh, renders the food very well with a CRI of well over 90. If you've got pendants or other accent lighting, a lot of times you want this to be warmer because you'll, you'll use this when the uh, general lighting is off. So we recommend our, our max light. We've got a, a cob bulb here. It's only two and a half watts, so very easy on the pocketbook. This is at 2700 uh, Kelvin, so it's a nice warm light. Now we'll check out some other areas. In areas of the house where you're gonna relax or entertain, such as a living room, a theater, a den, or a bedroom, you're probably going to want to be on the warmer end of the spectrum. 2700 Kelvin, maybe 3000 Kelvin. In this case, we retrofitted the uh, down lights with our Shenzhen lighting 3000K. 1200 lumens is a little overkill here. We could have gone with our ETI 2700 uh, down lights, but we like the option to uh, brighten up the room if needed to be, so we put it on a dimmer. Okay, so now you should have a good understanding of what kind of bulbs you're looking for for the home and the CRI and the color temperature and where they fit best. Now let's take a look at retail applications, manufacturing, office spaces, and see what works in those applications. Lighting level and color are important factors in retail. This convenience store selected US LED troffers at 5000 Kelvin for bright, even area lighting. The refrigeration cases have US LED EcoStar lighting that was selected for its high CRI in the upper 90s. 
providing maximum pop for the bright colored packaging. Accent lighting is generally going to be in the 3000 to 4000 Kelvin range and this is best suited to bring out the freshness in meat and produce and baked goods. Fish and seafood in general look best under 5000 Kelvin. Lighting for office, manufacturing, and industrial spaces are not all that different from retail. You want good, overall, even lighting. Here, we used ATG 5000 Kelvin troffers for the general office space with 4000K in the kitchen and reception areas. CRI is not as important in this application, but reducing eye strain is paramount, so we opted for the higher lumen output fixtures. Conference rooms are perfect for 3000 Kelvin bulbs or fixtures and should be dimmable. Moving on to exterior lighting, for commercial sites we generally see 5000 to 6500 Kelvin, which you see here lighting this gas canopy. The same goes for LED wall packs, which are becoming very affordable. In this retail parking lot, the existing lot lights were retrofitted with our Max Bright 80 watt cob bulbs at 4000 K. The decision to retrofit with bulbs was made to keep replacement costs low, keep the appearance of the existing fixtures, and reduce future maintenance. What a great overview of uh, office and retail applications. So now there's one other thing that we should talk about, and that's really continuity. So in some of those applications, you might have 60 or 80 bulbs, especially in an office space. And while we work with manufacturers that are very good with their uh, testing and make sure they put out consistent product, uh, LED bulbs are changing rapidly, even the fixtures are changing rapidly right now. And there's a good chance that there's going to be variation from product lot to product lot. So if you're going to be equipping a full manufacturing floor or maybe an office space with uh, bulbs, you're going to want to make sure that you buy all the bulbs you need at the same time. And in some cases, it's important to buy one or two extra so that if you do have a failure, you can replace it with something that looks identical. And it's not always the uh, LED color and that sort of thing but sometimes trim colors can change or trim styles can change a little bit too. We see that from our manufacturers, you know, from year to year they're going to update their products and they're going to be a little bit different. So if uh, continuity is very important to you and the appearance is, uh, say in a home theater room you've got nine lights, you might want to buy ten just so you have a spare in case something goes wrong. Alright, so that concludes our video. Hopefully you have a better understanding now when you go to shop for a bulb on brightwaysupply.com of what color temperature and what CRI you're looking for and what's best for its application. If you have any questions at all, feel free to contact our sales staff. They're eager to help and uh, feel free to put any comments in the uh, video section here to let us know what you think, if there's anything we missed, if there's uh, any more information that uh, would have been good to have. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon.